the man they've all come to see. Premier Li Keqiang has sought to assure investors that China's future growth is on track. I would like to tell everyone that the Chinese economy, which is at a crucial stage of transformation and upgrading, is moving forward and the fundamentals are stable. China's modernization will not be accomplished without reform. It will not be achieved without opening up. By trading aggressively with other nations, China has been opening up for more than 30 years. That export-led model has served the country well so far. For decades, China has been described as the factory of the world, and that's what's driven business at ports around the country. But a slump in demand from its traditional trading partners has forced economic planning officials to look at other ways of generating growth. <laughs> Top of the agenda is boosting domestic consumption. A report this week says the country has more than 300 U.S. dollar billionaires, a level of wealth that shoppers at this daily street market in Dalian can only dream about. The vast majority of Chinese live on far more modest incomes. China's economy is still overwhelmingly led by government policy and powerful state-owned companies. So boosting the people's wealth will depend on difficult changes to come. Juliana Lu, BBC News, Dalian, China.